Welcome to the Ask Dr. Deanna Show. I'm Dr. Deanna Holdren, your host. Join me weekly as I cover various health-related lifestyle medicine topics that you get to request. This show is for anyone who wants to proactively improve their health position. I hope you enjoy the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Ask Dr. Deanna podcast uh, series on uh, the intangible life. I'm excited that you are here with us today and finishing up this uh, series uh, over the next two weeks. Uh, We've been talking about the intangible life and just really how um, so many things that are the intangible things can actually enhance your life and also enhance your health and just make you so much better uh, in so many ways. So today we are going to talk about one of my favorites, which is generosity. Um, I love generosity. Um, it's, you know, been said that when you're, when your candle, um, lights another candle, it loses absolutely nothing. So your candle loses nothing when it is used to light another candle. And I think that is so, so true. And there are so many uh, things that we can do to make a difference in the lives of other people. Uh, and in turn, we benefit. You know, when we are generous um, in, in spirit, um, we benefit so much from that. I want to talk today about just the various ways that we can be generous, that we can practice generosity. You know, typically people think about generosity and they think about, you know, the generosity with their finances, of course, um, but it's not all about that, okay? There are so many other ways in which we can be generous and live a very generous life, embrace a very generous right life. Um, and that even starts with our thoughts. When we are generous with our thoughts and we're having positive thoughts about another person, about another group, about another organization, about our work, whatever, that shows up in a very big way. Um, and it also creates, you know, just some really good, uh, uh, you know, neurotransmitters in our system, um, endorphins and so forth that can make a positive impact in our overall health. Um, generosity with words. And this is a big one, you guys. Um, you know, there are people out there who, who basically thrive on what we call words of affirmation and, um, you know, being generous with your words, being sincere with compliments. And, you know, I, I always say, you know, you know, complimenting people is one of the best things that you can do for them, but make sure that it's sincere, that it's a genuine compliment. And when you compliment somebody, you sincerely compliment them for a great job or for, you know, something that you like about the way that they look or just whatever it might be. And it's a sincere compliment. You will see their face light up, which is the gift back to you. Um, you actually receive a tremendous amount because you were generous with your words. You're actually going to get something back from that. And it will absolutely make a difference um, in, you know, your overall, just, you know, how you you interact and, and just what's going on in your life uh, for that particular day even. Of course, we can talk about generosity with our finances, with our with our money. Um, I love to be able to um, pay things forward and make a difference. You know, I have been incredibly blessed in my life. Um, I've had just an, an, an incredible number of opportunities um, that have just been a true gift to me. And uh, they have allowed me to then basically pay it forward to teach other people, you know, how to fish, so to speak, uh, for themselves. And then also just to be able to make a difference in somebody's life uh, and, you know, be able to make a financial contribution, uh, whether it is to a a charity, an organization that you support, um, you know, family, um, church, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, it, it does absolutely make a difference in terms of how you feel things. Let's talk about things. Being generous with our things. Okay. We don't have to hold on to things. Um, You know, I know that for a lot of people, things are very, very important. Um, We don't like to share our things sometimes, Um, but I will tell you that it will make a difference if you can just, you know, let go of that, release that and be willing to share it. Things are just things, but People are people, and people are so much more important. Um, Author Richard Foster uh, actually writes that owning things is an obsession in our culture. If we own it, we feel that we can control it. 
And if we control it, we feel it will give us pleasure. The idea is an illusion. That's what he says about it. If you want to be in charge of your heart, don't allow possessions to take charge of you. And this is so true. I know that you guys can relate. I know this has certainly happened to me. How many times you've really, really wanted something. Maybe you even worked really hard to save up for it uh, and so forth. And then you go out, you make that purchase, you get that thing that you've worked so hard for only to find out that it does not bring you the pleasure that you thought it was going to, to bring. It does not add value to your life the way in which you thought it would add value. And in a sense, you end up being somewhat disappointed. It takes a while in life to learn that lesson. Hopefully, people are learning that lesson at an earlier age today uh, than what my generation did. Uh, but certainly, that is something that took a while to learn and to really embrace and to realize um, that possessions really, um, you know, they, they, you know, in a sense, they control us because you got to take care of them, right? Uh, you're responsible for something else in life. So, so be generous with the things that you have. Make a difference. Use those things to make a difference in other people's lives, and um, it will absolutely make a difference in your life too. How about generosity with your influence? You might be an incredibly influential person or have influence with others. And are you using that? Uh, are you being generous with your influence, with your ability um, to, you know, to influence a group uh, in a positive way uh, to make a difference there? And then finally, uh, generosity with your attention, um, just being able to give time and attention uh, to your family, to your friends, to your coworkers, to, you know, whomever is in your life. You know, I always say people are in your life uh, sometimes for a season, sometimes forever, uh, and, uh, you know, it, it is continually changing. Uh, but are you able to, you know, give an attention, which is your time? You know, a lot of people, when you look at, you know, how do they feel um, uh, cared for? Uh, how do they feel loved? How do they feel, you know, special or important? Um, it's basically um, with attention or which oftentimes is is our time, uh, time spent um, you know, with with people uh, can make a huge difference. Uh, so with attention, you know, uh, I always say uh, a very wise person once taught me uh, that when you meet people, uh, the people that you know or people that you meet, everybody wears an invisible sign around their neck that says, make me feel important, make me feel special. And attention is one of the ways that we can do that. Paying attention, you know, complimenting people, um, those all make such a difference and can add so much value. Um, I mentioned time briefly, uh, but time is a big one. You know, time is one of your most valuable resources. Um, we all have the same amount of time in a day. And it is one of our most valuable resources. I know that um, I oftentimes will think of time and put a higher value on time than I will on money, uh, for example, because it's so important to me. And I know that it's such a limited resource. And, you know, I can always go out and, and, and make more money, um, but I only have a limited amount of time. There's a limit on it. And so how we spend our time, you know, choosing to be generous with our time, especially for with with people who who really matter uh, in our lives, uh, but also, you know, you know, being generous with our time, um, you know, just to be able to make a difference in somebody's life uh, is one of the best things that we can do. I know for me, um, you know, as a physician, uh, one of the best things that I can do is is you know, add value to another person's life, whether it's through changing their health, making a difference from that standpoint, um, or, you know, just being able to give them a nugget of wisdom that, that will, that, you know, they will be able to take and use, uh, and, and, you know, maybe share with somebody else, um, is such a, a value to me and makes such a difference. Um, so one of the things that, um, that I want to end with today, just kind of a, a, a quote, um, and it's this, um, uh, no person was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what he gave. And that was by a, a past president, uh, Calvin Coolidge. Uh, so no person was ever honored for what he received. 
honor has been the reward for what he gave. And that is so true across the board. Um, Honor has been the reward for what he gave. And what I'm saying today is that when we give, and sometimes it's giving in a very small way with our words, um, you know, with our thoughts, um, with our time, whatever, but it can be a small thing, you know, what might seem seemingly insignificant, you know, we end up getting back in return. Okay. That smile that comes back to us, that relief on a person's face, um, seeing the difference that we are able to make adds value back to us. So I want to encourage you as you go through this holiday season to think about um, generosity and how you might, um, you know, and even if you feel like funds are tight or whatever, don't worry about that. Think about generosity from a from a whole different angle. Think about it from the standpoint of what you do have to give to somebody. And maybe, um, you know, that is words and that will make a difference uh, in other people's lives. So this season, I know for me, I'm wanting to um, make a difference in other people's lives and to show up big uh, wherever I can. So uh, thanks so much for joining me. And I hope that you will plug in next week uh, as we talk about vision. Uh, We're going to talk a little bit about setting your vision for your health, setting vision for your life, and just what that looks like as we move into the new year. And then January will, of course, be all about everything weight loss and everything uh, to try to, uh, you know, manage the damage, so to speak. So thanks so much for joining me and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed that episode. For more information, visit me at DeannaHoldren.com. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dr. Deanna Holdren. I really want to hear from you, so message me. I love taking your messages and creating topics from them. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share my show with those who have an interest in health and wellness. Thank you for tuning in and see you next week.